Well, it's John Black Super Cam. I'm here to do an easy video. It's a how to get video. Uh, so I'm not really doing anything. I'm just telling you how to get it. It's almost pure. You just got to do a little bit to pure it up. All right, here's the uh, thing. It's I'm trying to propanone, or a lot of people call it propanone, and even more people call it acetone. Okay. Um, I got two examples here. You know, you can. Uh, Nail polish remover, a lot of nail polish removers have acetone in it. You can try to extract it out of there, or you can just buy this. It's a lot cheaper. Um, I have two examples. Now, this is almost empty. It's like down to here or something like that. So I went out and I got the StarTech stuff. Uh, I should have looked in the uh, the MSDS up first. The MSDS on Jasco acetone is 100% acetone. MSGS on uh, StoreTex at acetone is, uh, is 90 to 100 percent. Depends on the batch. You know, each they're not guaranteeing. They're just saying somewhere between 90 and 100, and they, they just want to get it in somewhere in there. So it could be 90 percent. Um, I have distilled this. If there is any impurity in it, it's very, very small, and it must be at the end. Um, this I've never bought before. The only reason I bought this is because I bought their toluene, and uh, I couldn't believe how pure it was, so I assumed that their acetone was pure. Little did I know. My, my recommendation is get the Jasco. You can get this anywhere. I mean, uh, any kind of hardware store. I got it at, uh, with uh, Lowe's at any hardware store. They might even have this in uh, Walmart. I'm, I don't know. Though. But... Uh, any kind of hardware store, you can definitely get acetone. <coughs> um, this says 1460 on it. I'm sure this costs like the same amount, 12, 14 bucks. Um, like I said, this is 100 percent or close to it. At least the MSDS said it's 100 percent. And uh, this is a ketone. It's the simplest ketone that you can get because if you know there's three carbons, if you had two, you and you put a carbonyl on it. It would be an aldehyde, not a uh, ketone. So, this is the smallest ketone there is. Uh, it's a non, I mean, it's a uh, polar, wait, it's a polar aprotic solvent, and uh, it can be used in reactions also. It's, it's, it's a great thing to have. It's low boiling point. Uh, it doesn't smell bad, and I'm sure it's bad for you. Um, you can, you should pretty much assume everything that's organic. Is carcinogenic. I don't know if this is or not, but I always assume everything is. I mean, it's just common sense. Anyways, uh, like I said, this is a nice, easy video. That's about it. Y'all have a good day, and always remember science is great. I don't know if you can see that. I'll give you a close up look. It's just a round bottom. It's got the, you know, you take it out, got the ground glass joints. And you can heat this up. You know, it's like a Dean Stark apparatus. You know, here, here I'll give you a whole view. And you got the, see, this is a uh, condenser, water cold condenser. It's got ground glass joint too, see? And you can use it to separate like water out from uh, non-polar solvents. You know, it evaporate up, come up to here, gets cold, condenses back into a liquid, and then they change, they stay out of phase. If the, uh, what is it, if the solvent is less dense, and it'll keep filling up and it'll go back into the pot. Whereas the light, the more dense liquid, the water, would be at the bottom here and it just gets stuck here. So, although there's no uh, stop, there's no uh, valve there, so I can't really, you know, I don't like that really, but it's pretty cool. Now, if I didn't have a Dean Stark apparatus, what would I do? I would do this. 
So yeah, I got the. You would put put your stuff in here and boil it. It would come up here. You got this is just capped, right? See. So it's forced to go up this way. Go up to this condenser, be condensed back down, and then I can have a stop cock, right? This valve closed, and the stuff would collect from here, right, all the way up to here. When it, the water filled up, then you start. You would start distilling, say, toluene, as an example. And then once the toluene got filled up so much, it'd start going back into the into the pot, right? So. And that way you get all the water out. This way you have the stopcock, and you can, you know, put it, take it out into this. See how this is just a small little column or whatever. Basically, you're just distilling it. I, I don't understand what the big deal is here. Um, I guess because you would have to sit there and actually do it by hand, putting the stuff back. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Anyways, here's my homemade, how I would do it homemade wise. So that I have a stop cup. But I do like my other Dean Stark just because it, you know, it looks cool.